Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, today's a little bit more relaxed video because I was just recording another video and I found mealybugs on four of my Hoya. Love that. So I am in the middle of recording some stuff. oven so I'm in the middle of filming all these videos and then I find mealies it always happens that way like you're trying to you know knock out some stuff and have some stuff ready to go and then problem I'm embracing it I'm gonna turn it into a video why not who doesn't want to see a cluster of mealies on a Hoya I feel like there's multiple ways to get rid of mealies you can use alcohol and a cotton swab wipe them off or if they're in LECA, even if they're not in LECA, um, LECA just kind of makes the process easier. You can take out the whole net pot, you can take the whole plant out, you can really scrub the roots, well, not scrub them, but you can blast them with water. You can make sure there's no mealies left on the plant and you should be good to go. I do have some neem oil spray that I might just spray on them just as a preventative measure. So we're gonna do that because I've already done the alcohol method in another video a while ago couple times multiple times let's get into it let's just blast them with some water I do have some dirty dishes in the sink wonder if oh that's right in focus we're good I'll just move all these dirty dishes from this side into this side and we'll be good to go <laughs> instead of doing them who has time for that okay I'm gonna put some music over this because it's really loud so enjoy some music and watch me clean off some mealies Let's go. these four plants back in the terrarium 
that they were in. I got all the mealies off just by blasting them with some water, like a little bit of water pressure, blast them right off. They went down the drain, they're gone, they're dead. Mealies are definitely one of those pests that I don't typically mind having. They're a nuisance and it's just a headache to have to constantly care for them, but it's not, they're not one of the worst ones. Now, <laughs> I wanted to also include at the end of this video, um, something I'm very sad about, I'm having a hard time talking about it. <clears throat> I'll show you. This is my Thai constellation. I got this as a gift uh, a little over a year ago, and I think it had thrip. Now, I've never had thrip before, but when Adam was here last, I had a baby elbow that was propagating from a wet stick, and he was like, I don't know, I think that this has thrip. That ended up dying, it did the same thing this is doing. And I'm pretty sure he looked at this and said, it might be, I would just isolate it. It's been in isolation. I don't see anything, I don't see anything on here anymore because I literally saw little skinny, tiny, I don't even know like what I would describe them as. They, they it looked like little tiny lines in the le in the stems. Um, I didn't see any on the foliage, but I took this outside and I blasted it with the hose. Yes, I did. And uh, like I said, I don't see any more now to show you. Um, very microscopic. You you could barely see it. But I was like, I noticed that this leaf was coming in pretty much dead. I mean. If you really need a close-up, I could give it to you. That's freaking tragic. And now all of these leaves are doing this black thing. What I think I have to do here is I think I have to cut this back and start with uh, whatever's left down there. Now, I don't think that there's any root rot going on, but I'm going to check. I'm just really upset about this whole situation because these leaves are definitely not going to make it. They're all dead. Um, and it's just a sad thing, you know? Okay. All right, there is a little rot going on here. Um, see this black down here? That's root rot. Um, see now? Yeah, this is starting to go. See this root right here? It looks like it's fresh, but it's a little soft. It's not going to make it. But some of these roots are still very thick and white. And is that, is that a Lekka ball in there? It has this new growth point on it. I'm just not sure if that's going to do anything. Oh, you guys, I'm so upset about this. There's a node right here. So there's one node there. Clear as day. And then this is the other node that had that growth point. There is another little one down here. See, you can see that right there. Focus. Um, so there is hope for this plant. I think I'm just going to take back some of these roots, put it in water, and see what it does because... <laughs> you guys, this is horrible. It's kind of pretty, you know? In its own way. Listen, these things happen, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna tell myself that. But no, they do. And we need to normalize it and it's okay. Now, this is a little bit less of a blow for me because I didn't spend money on this plant. Had I spent, what, $500, what this is worth, if it was alive, I'd be pretty uh, distraught. But it is what it is, you know, you just have to live and you have to learn. And I don't really know what happened other than this probably had thrip and I didn't treat it for that. And it just got kind of out of hand. Let's chop it together, shall we? I need your, I need your support here. I need your support. Let me get my sanitized scissors. So first and foremost, I do want to utilize this node here. So I'm gonna cut right below it. like that. I know, that was a blow. Um, I am going to stick this in water. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to 
trim these oh, this is gonna kill me trim these leaves back because I'll tell you why if there is any thrip left on this plant I don't want it to continue so if I get it down to a node and just stick it in water and let it root um, at least I am just looking at a tiny little piece of plant and I can see that there's no thrip there and I'm good to go if I leave the leaves and I treat it I sprayed some neem oil on it earlier but I just don't think that that's gonna do it I think I need something like Captain Jack's or something like that and I don't have any um, but regardless these leaves are not surviving can we agree on that they're they're just they're not so there's no point in keeping them so this so this root or so this node can just put all of its energy into creating more roots and to creating more growth points hopefully um i'm just gonna cut them off oh dear okay so i'm gonna put this in water and we'll see what happens with it i am gonna rinse this out really really well make sure that there's no thrippy boys down in there and then see what it does i don't know guys i don't know see this is all like rotted back here so i'm not quite sure what that's gonna do i feel like i want to peel it away and see no there's i don't see any insects of any kind I don't know. I just, I hope something happens with it and I hope I can get it to grow again because that's really sad. Okay, now the next one here, there is a node down here and there's a lot of roots still attached here. I'm just going to get off some of these that I know are rotting away. Um, trim some of this back up. It's okay to do this with your roots just to trim them up. It's Plants are pretty resilient. They're not going to see this is rotted. They're not going to die from that as long. It might the plant might go into shock, but <laughs> nothing's shocking it more than like cutting all of its leaves off all at once. You know. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but see this node down in here. It's right there. It's like below there. You can see it right there. Uh, there's a stem. There's a root there. This is when it becomes an experiment. Okay, I am gonna cut this off. This piece, it's hard to see. This piece I'm gonna cut off right at the top here because that has a node. And then hopefully this one. Okay, I think I did that right. Can continue to grow because this is a node. So this may grow another growth point from there. I'm just going to clean up in here really, really well. Ugh. I'm just going to cut this top of that off. I know, it's terrible! Um, oh, there might be thrip in there though. Oh dear god. That's okay. This looks pretty good. So I'm going to stick this in water, see what it does. Look at me, uh, I'm... Chopping all... Look at what happened. I, I know it's all dead it's all dead now this has quite a bit of roots on it i am going to cut that root back i'm not showing you cutting this root back to expose that node down there and then i'm just going to trim these up a little bit no sense in cutting them all off since this whole thing's going to go in water um as long as you don't see any insects we're going to get it really cleaned up here and this all feels really, really solid. Doesn't feel rotted. So, last one. If these come back from this, I'm gonna say I told you so. If they don't, I know a lot of you are screaming at the screen right now. I am a plant parent and I go through things too and I ask advice a lot of the time and sometimes it's conflicting, sometimes it's overwhelming. Like honestly, to get on Instagram sometimes and to just ask advice, you get pulled in all these different directions and it, be, it almost becomes not helpful to get that much advice. 
Don't get me wrong, it's amazing to ask you guys questions over there and to get an instant reply. But I have to go through a bunch of <laughs> recommendations on what, um, you know, what I should do here. But there she is. <laughs> okay, this one, we have three cuttings here. I'm gonna put them all in water. Uh, I need jars. Okay, I have some sphagnum moss here and I'm gonna put it in this cup um, it's not a see-through cup, which is fine. I don't have any see-through jars right now, but I'll take it out periodically and check the roots. I'm just going to stick them all in here. I do kind of want them together just because they were just together. And if there are any thrip left on them, then obviously they're not with other propagations gonna isolate them and just kind of see what happens so the bottom submerged in this damp sphagnum moss I'm gonna give it just a smidge of water and that's really all it should need for right now Ooh, don't know what to do you guys but here's where we're starting it's an experiment do you want to see what this sink looks like no we're gonna end it on a good note I'm gonna get my elbow here she is She's still in sphagnum moss and it was a wet stick, so zero leaves. And now she has all these cute little leaves on her. Here's one, not a ton of variegation, just kind of up there. That was actually the one of the newest leaves. God, this is hard to do in this window. This is the newest one. There's a little bit of variegation up there. And then look at that little guy. Focus, look at that variegation, so cute. Very excited about this. Um, hopefully it'll do well. I'm not that excited about how there's virtually no variegation on the newest leaf, but it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be all right. It's an elbow and I'm growing it from a wet stick and it's all an experiment in the end. It's just all experimental. <sighs> I can't believe I just chopped up my tie. Anywho. I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, hi, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, I have to show you this carnage. Oh yeah. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yesterday there was some